Print started automating probably 30 years ago, primarily because of capacity constraints. And the capacity com constraints that we had back then were as similar as today. It was the people or the manpower that was difficult to obtain in our area. And in order to get more throughput and, and product out every day, the only option was to automate. Well, it can be very rewarding uh, to help people in manufacturing. I absolutely embraced it fully from the start. Competitive advantage we have in automation is it brings our prices down and allows us more throughput at the same time. So we meet our customers' demands for how many products that they need at the same time, keeping our prices as competitive as possible. Working with the people on the ideas goes a very long way. And when automation overlooks that quite often, it can be a, a disaster, a failure. So you definitely want to bring your people in on the ground floor. This in itself goes a long way right there to them accepting the finished product. And, and embracing it. We continue to automate because we always think there's a better way. Technology is always changing, improving. These are awesome compared to the ones that we have been using. And it's just progress, it's, it's progress. I shouldn't say it's a lot easier, but it is a lot easier. <laughs> in, our, in our many years working with ACETA, um, we've always been a little reluctant to give over the control of a project to a third party integrator. And ACETA has always been willing to meet us halfway or meet us three quarters of the way or something like that so we get comfortable with what we're doing. So typically a project at ACETA with prints is going to be something like 50% prints. We're going to build the structure and do some wiring. Then we're going to turn the project over to ACETA. They're going to finish the wiring and integrate the robots and maybe some end effectors and those kind of things. And then start the parametric programming that we look for. I think there's several key ingredients to having success in automation. For us, one was having a partner like ACETA to help us through. ACETA was able to help us with training, which in itself is an investment in our time and resources. Now, robots are great tools for following orders. They can do just about anything that you can imagine as long as there's rules and logics to drive them. Automation is not just a wish. It's not something we want to do just because. It's something we have to do in order to keep up and keep ahead of our competition. And if you're not automating, you're dying. We've known uh, Aceta for a while, obviously they changed names over a few years, so we've known, known them for a long time. I've probably got involved with them at least 25 years plus years ago. Well, I think there's somebody that when you shake their hands, it really means something. Robotics is the wave of the future, and I would encourage anybody who wants to go into manufacturing to go into robotics as well. Yeah, get into automation. It's, it's a great way to keep employees on the right track and having fun uh, at their job. Automation is a great thing. It's, it's fun. It's very necessary. It's kind of what makes work cool these days, I think. So I think if you're going to choose an integrator, you know, man, choose somebody that you can communicate with, choose somebody that's going to be looking out for your best interest, and choose somebody that you can trust.